Organizing and grouping objects in VizMe is pr pretty simple. One of the reasons you would want to group objects is that it allows you to more easily move things around, uh, create a, a group of uh, layers, and with that you can resize them and so on. Let me show you how that's done. So every single element, be it a text, a shape, or an image in VizMe is its own layer. So as I click each object, it gets its own uh, dashed area indicating that it's an object. Uh, of course, when you have one object, if let's say I wanted to move this uh, cloud and the circle um, into another location, well, what I have to do, generally speaking, is I have to move one object, and then I have to go ahead and click the other one and move it around. And then I have to perfect the movement of making sure that it's aligned right in the center. Uh, but when you group objects, you don't have to do that anymore. You can just group them and just do the action all in one round. So in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and group this object. And the way I can do that is to either use my mouse and hold down, uh, use the cursor and move down the um, area around the objects. And that will select them. And I can actually move it around. However, they're not grouped. So if I click on the outside, they are not a grouped object. It's still two separate objects. So if I want to permanently group something, I will hover around, select those two. So I've selected these two objects. And what I can do is go to the top left here and hit group. And once I do that, even if I click on the outside, I can go and click on the object again. And now I can move it around. All right. So this allows me to do a couple of things. One, I can move it around, I can go to another object, and then come back and move this again. Another thing I can do is I can start resizing it as well in one um, file swoop. So I'll go ahead, and you see I can actually together resize this object without having to do that. Additionally, what I can do is if I was wanted to get interactive, I can group a bunch of objects and then animate them in one round. So let's say I had uh, this entire section here grouped and I want them to all come in from the right side so I'm going to go ahead and select it all and then I will group it and now I can just go do an animation and say okay move from the right now let's say one second and apply and so what I just did was I applied an animation when I was if I would go on preview publish this I would be able to see that this entire object, instead of doing four things one time, one, two, three, four, five objects, and applying five different animation effects, I can just in one uh, round apply the animation. They all move at the same time. There's one other thing that you can do when you group items, and that is that you can easily move them uh, to other locations. So, for example, I group this object, I can go ahead and duplicate it. And so now I can go ahead and move it around and place it somewhere else. Or what I can do is, in the case of, let's say, I had a presentation. So let's say, in this case, I'm working with a presentation. And I've got different slides. I can click this object. And I can right-click, copy. And I can go on to, let's say, another slide. And then I can just right-click and paste. And so now what I've done is I've moved my object in one quick round, all those layers, uh, to another slide. One more thing I want to show you. When I group objects for organizing, if I go to the left side here, I'm going to go ahead and open my panel. And I'm going to click on Objects List. This is a little more of an advanced feature. You may or may not have a use for it. But it's a good to have. And so if you look, there's my group. And I can just go ahead and just double click and rename it if I want to. So I'll call it buttons. And you see that it's got a subfolder underneath of it. I, this is actually a grouped item. So I can just go ahead and move this around to where I want it to be. Now, uh, this is in terms of the vertical orientation of objects. So I can move things at the bottom. If I move the um, objects all the way at the bottom, it is now sitting underneath all other layers. And so if I show you, it would be sitting underneath of those. So this allows me to uh, move the objects under everything else. So this is for the vertical ordering. 
Uh, but for the more novice users, what you can pretty much do is to just deal with the grid grouping feature and uh, you don't have to worry about this area. Just go ahead and duplicate, size objects if you need to, and you'll be able to uh, copy them to other slides and so forth. So it makes it much easier. Grouping is a very helpful uh, feature and very easy to use.